Hey guys, what's up? Alec Torelli here. You know, I used to say yes to everything that came my way. And I used to think that if I wanted to be successful, I had to keep as busy as possible. And so I would just say yes to everything that happened. Every social encounter, every opportunity, every business deal, whatever it was, I would listen to it and I would get really involved in it and excited. I would be jumping from one new thing like a frog to a new lily pad. The result is that I was treading water at a lot of different activities instead of really succeeding at any one of them. And I was just feeling mediocre in my approach towards everything that I was doing and everything that was involved in my life. And I realized that the wonderful game of poker really had the answer. If you think about it, in order to win at poker and to get ahead, you have to fold pretty much 90% of the hands that you're dealt. And you make a disproportionate amount of money from those top 5% of hands. Your aces, your kings, your queens, your ace king, your sets when you flop a straight or whatever it is. And the same is true in life as well. If you really want to succeed and get ahead at what you're doing, you have to be hyper focused. You have to narrowly select the hands that you're going to play. And instead of saying yes to a lot of things like popular culture dictates, you it's really about saying no to most things. And I think this is the misconception in our society. A lot of people think that in the high stakes to win at poker, you have to do all these crazy things and play all these hands and make all these crazy aggressive moves. But in fact, the exact opposite is true. High stakes poker played correctly is kind of boring. You have to fold almost always. And it's really the better players that are capable of getting away from hands that win the most money. And that is what I think it's about in life as well. I have to admit, this is something that I've always struggled with. In fact, I remember when my wife was still my girlfriend back in 2011 uh, on her first trip to the US, I was lamenting about struggling with juggling too many things. And we sat down at, at this coffee shop and we wrote out a list of all the things that I was doing. And there were like 10 different projects and none of them were related. And it's no surprise that of course, I wasn't excelling at any one of them. And so this is something I've struggled with over the years, but I always try and sit down, especially with my wife, she's amazing at this, and really focus on one or two things that matter. What are the one or two things that are really going to move the needle? And where are the 10% of the places that I should be spending 90% of my effort? In short, I cut out everything that wasn't going to actually move the needle and tripled down on what was working. And so this meant saying no instead of saying yes. So whereas before I would actively look for reasons to say yes to everything and just fill my calendar with as much as many activities as possible. Now I was looking for reasons to say no. Like why, why shouldn't I work with this person? Or why shouldn't I take on this business opportunity? Or why shouldn't I go uh, do this interview or, or the, to this social gathering? And I was really focused on quality over quantity. And I admit this isn't sexy in a culture where I feel like you know there's some sort of reward for being busy all the time and looking cool like you're doing something. This was rather hard to do. And it isn't sexy, like jumping from one activity to another is, is much more exciting. There's probably some dopamine release when we're always doing new things because the new things are always exciting. And doing the same thing every day is difficult. It's challenging, it's painful, you have to struggle and it's boring. But if you really wanna get ahead, you have to fold. And that's where I believe the game is. Are you folding often enough or are you playing all those marginal 5-3 suited with your time? Leave your thoughts in a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel. More awesome content's coming and I'll see you guys in the next one.